so they can watch this for the entire six minutes or however long they choose and when they're done there's a click at the bottom a little it's a little bit purple and it, when it highlights brighter to finish you just click on that and that brings you back to the main screen then what we want to do is take them to guided training okay so there's part one part two and part three and the most beneficial way to do it particularly if they haven't used healing rhythms software pr previously is to start with part one so there's 15 steps to go through in the entire uh, self-guided biofeedback sessions part one is about self-discovery part two is about creating happiness Part three is about developing life skills. When we quick click on number one of part one, the challenge is quieting your mind. The level of noise in your head greatly affects your ability to both work and relax effectively. If your brain had a volume dial, what notch would it be on right now? Two, five, nine? The most powerful tool for quieting the mind is the breath. In the following exercises, you'll learn to observe the breath, allowing it to become deeper and slower, creating a calming effect on your mind. Okay, I cut off some of those directions to help us with time. Now in each screen, there are four candles. There's one over here for inspiration, one over here for mind body practice one, one over here for mind body practice two, and then one over here for the biofeedback event. So for inspiration, in each of the 15 modules, there is a health and wellness expert who's, most of them are pretty famous, and it's a little few minute teaching about some of the goals for this particular biofeedback event. There's Deepak Chopra, Dean Ornish, Andrew Vile, and m many others. Each one has one of them giving a little bit of um, inspirational and informative talk about something. So then there's Mind Body Practice 1. Within that, it's not particularly interactive what's going on. One of the professionals, oh I did click it, will walk a person through thinking something, imagining something. One of the most powerful techniques for transforming I'm going to end this meditation. one at the bottom again, click finished. This one is an introduction to meditation and then there's a mind body practice too. After all the candles the other three candles have been um, clicked on and practiced. You can go to the biofeedback event. The biofeedback event is sort of the main event of each of the 15 stages. And you can see that because we visited inspiration, that candle is now lit. Mind body practice one, that candle is now lit. Mind body practice two, that candle is now lit. Biofeedback event hasn't been lit yet. So let's click on that. In this particular in the following activity, allow your breath oh, she's to fall talk. in sync with the rhythm of the tree as it expands and contracts. Inhale for a count of five, then exhale for five. This is called the heart breath. Continue slowly and deeply until the staircase takes shape before your eyes. This breathing technique has a calming and centering effect on the body. This is a great one. I love it these balls here are showing the guest exactly what their heart rate is so they pulse on the exact heart rate of the guest the tree as it gets bigger you want to have them breathing in as it gets smaller you want to have them breathing out the more they relax the more they build staircases all the way up to the top i'm going to do it now and then i'll show you what the last stage looks like Midway. Congratulations on completing this first vital step. 
breath awareness. An increased awareness of your breath throughout the day will help you keep the negative effects of stress at bay, giving you a calm place to return to again and again. All right, that's the end of the first biofeedback exercise. Brings them back to the main directory and they can click number two. Observe your thoughts. Now that you've taken the first step to... In this exercise, you'll actually see the connection between the flight of the balloons and your internal thoughts. Try thinking of something exciting and watch the balloon float up and even pop. Or try a relaxing meditation and watch the balloon descend. As one after the other float by, watch how even the most subtle change in your body and mind can affect the balloons. Okay, so down here is the same scale as the ion grapher. The purpose of this as I talk, the balloon goes up. The purpose of this is for the person to try to see if they can get the balloon perfectly across the screen as flat as possible, but also to experiment with relaxing and thinking more anxious or exciting thoughts so, so they can see what happens to the balloon. If they get too chilled out or too excited, it pops. It pops at the top if they're too excited. I sat up and I was talking a little louder <clears throat> and it, this one's a little bit difficult to do as I talk. Um, but the idea is to get it all the way across to the other side of the screen. <laughs> now over here is um, a journal and I don't think for the most part we're going to standardly use this. It might be a little bit too difficult to do um, with multiple users on each of the two machines uh, because what happens there is a person writes down their reflections um, right into the computer screen about their particular biofeedback event that day. I think what we're going to have instead is something for folks to jot down uh, their experiences and or reflections and or things that they want to keep track of in a notebook to take home instead. So I'm skipping now the inspiration and the mind body one and the mind body two just to show you the biofeedback events. Uh, but in number three, find your inner balance. 